Yeah, you just saw me gaming with a smartphone using physical triggers. That's right. This is the Black Shark 4. This is a gaming phone from Black Shark that has physical triggers that are retractable, which is amazing. I mean, it is amazing because on one hand, it looks like a regular smartphone, feels like a regular smartphone. It's got a 6.67 inch display. That's 144 Hertz. That is absolutely amazing. You can switch between 144, uh, 120, 90, 60, all that fun stuff there. But it also has this intelligent mode to actually see what games will support the refresh rate that it does have. So that's actually cool. But again, those trigger buttons, right? Now, let's talk about them for a second. They're on the right side of the device and they're easily activated by these two mechanical shutters. Boom, they open it up and you have access to the trigger buttons, which is great because it adds so much more to gaming. As gamers, we want physical triggers and we've seen touch sensitive buttons on other devices, but this takes it to the very next level. It's got robust software allowing you to remap those buttons. And also the buttons have a secondary function where you can long press for, uh, of course, a second action if you want to. So again, there's more functionality to it and it adds so much to your gameplay experience. Playing Call of Duty uh, mobile on this, I mean, I just mow down people because the physical buttons are there and I don't have to cramp on screen. Now, as I mentioned, the screen is really fast and smooth, but also comes with a really fast processor. You're thinking Snapdragon 888? Nope, it's the Snapdragon 875G. And this is a processor I really like because it gives you almost the same performance as the Snapdragon 888 without, of course, the cost benefits that you find there. Uh, or at least the cost disadvantages, if you will. Now, moving to a game like PUBG Mobile, where we expect to see a lot of performance from something like the Snapdragon 870, we're gaming PUBG Mobile, usually play at Ultra HD Ultra, or sometimes Smooth Extreme. With the Black Shark 4, we can play at smooth 90 frames per second. And it is amazing to play PUBG at that frame rate. It is fast, it is smooth. Combined with those trigger buttons, whoo, whoo, whoo. I was mowing people left and right. Daniel was not happy because he was like, man, you're getting good. Actually, it was literally just the device. But that being said, dude, it was a great experience to use that there. Now, you're thinking, what about peak performance? So we played some Genshin Impact. Now in Genshin, we maxed up the settings to of course 60 uh, FPS. And this is where we saw fluctuating frame rate. So it lowest it dropped down to about 47 frames per second, went up to highest about 57 frame, frames per second. This is roughly just within 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay. And this is consistent even with my 30 minute gameplay sessions on this device. Now, the 870 is capable of running. It was not gonna run closer to 60. I would say the average there is probably around 53 frames per second for a game like Genshin Impact, but it also runs really hot. It, re it reached about a max temperature of about 43 degrees Celsius, which is around 120 or so, which is pretty high. But of course, Black Shark has an offering for a cooling fan, which is sold separately. Now, this is the cooling fan from Black Shark. It looks like a standard fan, and it clips onto your device, but it doesn't have a proprietary port. So how do you charge it? Or how does it actually power on? It's got a USB type C port, which you can connect to an external port, or you can actually connect it to your smartphone, which undoubtedly will drain your device. But this has a cooling pad behind it, which will cool your device quite effectively. I've noticed that it's dropped temperatures by around five to seven degrees, or even a little bit more, depending on the game. With, with Genshin, it's really pushing at about five or so. But it is useful. As I said, will drain your battery a lot if you do that. Now, battery drain is to be expected because you're running games at 144 hertz. Um, you've got, of course, the cooler with there, and you've got a 4,500 milliamp battery, which is good, but how do you top it off? Well, the Black Shark 4 comes with a 120 watt charger. Yes, 120 watts. And I did a charging test with this bad boy and I did zero to 100 in roughly 23, 24 minutes, which is amazing. I mean, even right here in the studio, while I was, I was actually recording and recording gameplay, I had about 10% in and in five minutes, I went up to 35%, which is nuts. So having that fast charger is absolutely great. 
Another cool feature with the trigger buttons is that you can remap other functions to those buttons that have nothing to do with gaming. So you can map out, say, a flashlight to your left trigger, so you can use that as a flashlight if you want to, or I can map over screen recording to the right trigger and use that to screen record. But there are a bunch of other options to use that, so it makes it more versatile than just being gaming trigger buttons, which is great. Now, the software with this device is really robust, allowing you to customize and do all the things you want to do gameplay-wise that I think a lot of people will like, whether it's customizing the fan or even customizing some of the features you will find on the device. I absolutely love it. Now, the camera system is also pretty good. You've got a triple camera system on here that actually does a good job, but you know what? Just take a look at the video here. So video is 4K60. Again, the sound sample. I'm in the city, just kind of walking around. Uh, and you just get a quick idea. Walking closer towards the Shake Shack. Woo! New York is alive. Honestly, that's amazing. I mean, I was shocked to see a gaming phone give me that kind of quality video and also some of the solid photos. Uh, the portrait mode was okay, but again, really solid offering. And you're wondering, how much does this whole package cost? Yes, with trigger buttons and all that fun stuff, this is only 500 bucks. Yes, can you believe it? $500 for a device that gives you a solid camera, a great gaming smartphone, physical trigger buttons, and 144 hertz. Honestly, to me, you really can't go wrong. Plus, combined with 120 watt charging, absolutely amazing. This is probably gonna take my top billing for best gaming smartphone for this year because it covers everything. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments about the Black Shark 4, let me know. Otherwise, you want to see some more gaming phones, I do have more on the channel. Uh, definitely check out my next video, which will be coming up on the Red Magic 6. So head over to that video. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.